See, I'm back on my. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today in the video we're going to go over some catch and shoot drills. So let's dive into it. So we're going to do catch and shoot countering drills. Emphasis on the same side counter. But we're going to probably work a little bit of everything. Just like offense has timing, defense has timing as well. I mean it kind of depends on what our opponent's doing and the positions we're in on what kind of counter that we can do. If I throw here, he could have his eyes closed. There's a guaranteed opening for a millisecond. All right. If he does the opposite side counter, if I'm a good fighter, I got this hand up, okay? It doesn't mean don't counter, but it means there's a less likely shot of it being open. This shot might not be as powerful, but it's more guaranteed to be open. The opposite side is gonna have a little more power on it. You know, maybe it knocks me off balance, maybe the next punch comes in, but there's definitely uh, an advantage being able to punch inside somebody else's punches. And if I'm having a hard time finding my opponent, if they're punching at me, I got a pretty good idea where they're gonna be. It helps me be able to find my punches. What we also wanna do is I wanna mirror my opponent. So if Ben's dipping side to side, I gotta try to mirror him. Because if he goes this way, I go that way, that's where the opening is there. You know, if he goes this way and I go that way, boom, now he just found the opening. But if I'm mirroring him, it also helps me to throw the counter. Throw a shot because I'm in position to throw it. One person go, I'll tell you when to switch. If I'm on the inside and they're throwing punches, with the uppercut, I got options. I can go to the body, I can go to the head. So it gives me more options being in there throwing the uppercuts. If I throw top shots, I only got one option, that's the head. Bullshit, came a long way from school, bitch. We them niggas been banging and walking with full clips. I can feel with them blue strips. All the hang with the side. And there's something disheartening where every time you try to punch your opponent, you're just getting countered right at the middle. It makes you not want to punch. Where am I opponent out? Maybe I want him to run his hands. Maybe I'm having a hard time finding openings. So if I get in there and I let him punch, I know now that I'm at least creating openings in my opponent. How that Audemars go with that neck? My features are dub, my shoulders are blessing. I got paper, I ain't doing no stress. The one who put all this together, that gave me some good and I made that shit better. Turned up the night, my watch changed up the weather. I'm bigger and better, shit bigger than ever. Try not just to throw the punch to the gloves that the person you know is defending because that can become a habit. And I, I heard it from some MMA coach years ago, but it's a really good thing. So there was these two cops. When they joined the force, they figured at some point in life, they're gonna, gonna have a bad guy pull a gun on them. So almost every day after practice or after work, they would drill disarming uh, somebody with a gun. Well, one day they're in a convenience store. Uh, one guy's in the back, the other cop's at front. The guy comes up to rob the store, puts the gun right at the cop's head without even instinct, without even thinking, he disarmed the gun. Luckily, the other cop came at the time and was able to shoot him. But what you practice is gonna be what you do, whether you think so or not. So that's that story. The other thing, timing on defense is just as important as timing on punches. You know, they say, what's the first line of defense? Your hands up. No, first line of defense is your eyes. You have to see what's happening in order to intelligently defend against it. No matter what's happening, you, you can see with your eyes, you can see rhythm changes, speed changes. You can see if they're going to the body, they're going to the head. You can't take any of that for granted. You are really alert. The way you were looking at him, you're seeing everything. That is really how it needs to be helpful, all right? So next one, we're gonna do the same same counter, same side counters, but to the head. One on one, bitch, they team. One on one, never again. One on one. Don't get the kick in the butter. I count it like hustle the money all in. I'm in a town in a drop top coupe in the mud in the trunk you can hear Ain't all about how they want me to lose, but I'm W, do for a win Fuckin' this bitch in the OG, I'm having this snow bunny pull up a leg Spot from a dummy, don't see how I'm coming, don't tip me up Time, alright, good work, good work, good work When opponents run in their hands, I want a counter punch to break their rhythm If I sit there and just try to find their rhythm defensively, they're just gonna keep punching So I need Boom, to be able to come out with something to punch at them to get them break rhythm. Even if it's just like a, you throw a jab as a counter, they'll probably stop punching. You know, so not, don't think every counter punch has to be open, every counter punch has to be powerful. I need to throw punches in between their punches to get them to stop. I don't want somebody so comfortable that they can just feel like they can throw whatever combos they want at. So you use counter punches to break rhythm, you can smother them to break rhythm, you can hold if you're in trouble, but don't let somebody just keep throwing punches at you. And that rhythm breaker, down, boom, boom. 
think that's when you can go to work because you stop their rhythm, maybe they're a little bit open at that time. If I'm using the opposite side counter, which we're gonna switch to now, where it's the, the opening is not guaranteed, it does give me a little more leeway with distance. So if they're throwing longer shots and they're moving away, if I drop in, boom, 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 at least I can close the gap. I can maybe try to find them as opposed to if they're on the inside and I'm on the inside, it's easy to find the counter. If they're throwing the shots from far, I can still counter punch, but I can adjust my distance with it on the opposite side counter. Real quick, if you want to see more videos like this or more content like this, like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what you want to see more of. Now let's get back to the video. Block and then step with your counter punch or I can block, step on the block and close the gap. So there's a couple ways to do that. So let's try uh, opposite hand counters now to the head. If I'm in here with somebody and they're in there, I, I, I'm gonna do more same side counter because I know they're there and I know it's open. If it's out here, like the distance, the height on him, it just doesn't make sense. It's really, I'm not gonna find that shot. Throw the throw a hook. If he's finishing back, it's hard for me to close a gap. So if I need to close a gap on somebody, I'll probably throw the opposite side counter. And I don't know if we'll talk about this today. The only other option is to punch when they punch. That'll help me close the gap. We might not work on that one today. Just also the technique of who I'm fighting. Do they make certain mistakes in certain places? Normally Ben's gonna throw the same side counter. Boom, right? Okay, that's a good opening. Maybe it makes sense to Ben throw the hook. Boom. Because of how I'm turning, maybe my hand drops, maybe I raise up when I throw. All, like that's what I'm saying, eyes open alert. You're downloading information. This is what my opponent does. This is when my opponent does that. This is how I'm gonna make them do what I want them to do and turn it against them. Seeing the openings. Seeing the openings, yep. Work time. Drop, 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 drop. Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the thought. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. I was really, really trying to keep it PG. If you had a set, they get your ass a DP. Two civilian gang in real life, you PC. You know who really bang a set? My Time, really good guys. Okay, what did you feel? What did you think was easy for you? What was hard for you? What did you learn on your own from this? Anybody can say something? Yeah. Just keeping my foot, I'm telling you, my front foot. Like, like Ben, sometimes he'll get on the side of my foot yeah. and then he's already set up for something. I gotta keep him. Just be on yeah. the back foot a little more. And keep keep adjusting that. Sometimes it keeps you in the right position I'll to counter. I'll throw something over here. Throw it's usually throw right there. Just the same side one. Yeah. When I'm not far away, he gets that so fast. I just, it's yeah. barely nothing, you know? Yeah. So yeah. That's all I'm saying with your hands. Keep them in position. Show that body show that means? Yeah. When I was keep your hands in position. I was yeah. going down here. Oh. You're in the position for nothing. I mean, even if he does miss, I'm backing up with my head straight in there. You know. So you see, and a good example of that is Roy Jones Jr. When his reflexes died, he got he kept, he got knocked out. Like he used them as far as you could possibly use them. Yeah. And and like Floyd, Floyd's defense was scientific. Like you had to have the calculation to get past that defense. No matter, even now he's older and, and slower, it's still a lot harder to get past it because there's science to what he did. Yeah. So that was a great session. What I noticed in my teammate, if you see in the video there, what I was explaining to him when he was blocking the punch, he was dropping his hand too much. And uh, one of the tips that I kind of picked up on was you know, using the elbows, not reaching down to block every single punch. You know, there's a time and a place where you can do it. As long as you're aware of doing it, you know, you can make it work. But most of the time you want to wait, make your moves small. So not, you know, reacting to things so big. Even if you get your head out of the way, just because you made them miss the punch, you know, you want to be able to make a miss, make them pay, not just make a miss and end up on the defense the whole time. So using the, making the movements smaller and, and, and kind of using the elbows, to, to, to knock away the body shots instead of reaching down all the time. For myself, one of the things I noticed that, that I needed to work on was when I was you know, catching the punch and shooting my hook, I wasn't stepping with the hook. I was reaching in a little bit too much. And that's one thing you never want to do is, is reach. What I have to work on is, is stepping with the hook as I throw it, so catching it, taking that small step. Unless they're right in front of me and I can just turn, if I have to close that space, I don't want to reach to it. I want to make sure I take that step in so I keep my weight in the middle. So that concludes this video. Comment down below, like and subscribe, all the above. I'll see you on the next one.